welcome back guys to LS Plays FM and to another tutorial video here on the channel for Football Manager 2021. Now of course we have got some other tutorials here on the channel for FM21 which will be linked as we go throughout the video such as the how to install the player faces packs and the logo packs and so on. What we are going to be covering today though guys is how to install kits into your football manager game primarily i'm going to look over how to get the english kits so the premier league championship league one league two and the vanarama leagues and so on but there are various other kits that you can install all using these same processes that we're going to be running through in today's video now before we do get going though guys if you do find this video to be useful please do chuck a like on the video it massively does help the channel out and of course if you're looking forward to seeing any more of my content such as my fm21 tutorial videos i do have one or two more ideas still planned such as with football manager 21 skins and so on and any other content such as my Taming the Devil series or any of my FM21 experiments, much like my 100 Years Into the Future video, which will be linked above me here at the moment for you to click on and at the end of this video, then do make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you're notified when any of my content here on YouTube goes live. Now then though, let's get into the tutorial itself. So I have got here on the screen the Sort It Out SI website. Now there are various other websites that you can go to and use to get your kits and so on for Football Manager. I personally prefer to use Sort It Out SI but as I say there's various others which you can use. The links to the page that we're gonna be using this on will be down in the description as well for you to use. You don't have to go and search it yourself. Now to go and actually access the kits and so on, I'm on the home page currently, but if I click on graphics here on the left hand side, it will take me to the graphics page where you can get things such as your player faces on here, you can get your logo packs and so on, but we of course are gonna be focusing on the kits. Now there's various types of kits you can install. There's the short sleeve ones, long sleeve ones, there's standard ones and some other options available to you. My personal preference is the short sleeve one. If you decide to go for one of the other versions, the process is still the same so it's up to you we are going to go into the short sleeve one i'm just going to click it here it will take me to the short sleeve area and of course i'm going to want to go to football manager 2021 so i'll just click on the hyperlink there now i'm on the page where i can go and download all my kits unlike with the player faces and logo packs there's no big kind of pack that you can download sadly you have to download each league and so on individually or each kind of set of leagues individually of course we're going to be focusing on the english leagues in this video here you can see if i scroll down there's various other leagues available you have english lower leagues like level seven and eight you have germany's leagues you have serbia you have spain sweden etc there's various ones you can go on all you have to do is just go onto them individually and download them so what we'll do is we'll go into the england english leagues level one to six Occasionally you get new links kind of put up, which is what has happened with this one. It's been re-released today, basically. So on the page I'm on here currently, I'm just gonna click on the big download button here on the right-hand side. I'll click it, it's about a 60 megabyte file, so it shouldn't take too long for me to download. You can see it started downloading it here in the bottom left. It's almost finished doing it already, which is very, very handy. In fact, it has already finished. So now that the download has finished, the next step for us to do is to go into our downloads folder and actually find it. So I have my downloads open. So if I click on my file explorer down here, it's gonna load up my downloads. The only thing I've got in there currently, I've got rid of everything else to make it nice and easy for the video today, is the England levels one to six. Of course, if you download any other files, they'll be in here too, which you can use. So the first thing we need to do is to actually unzip this file because the file that you get is a zip folder. So what you need in order to access that is an unzipping tool. I have WinRAR and I have 7-Zip on my computer, which I can use. There'll be links to both of those down in the description below. There are various other tools as well that you can use. Now, once you have that unzipping tool on your computer, the next thing we have to do before we can actually unzip it is make sure we have the graphics folder created in our Sports Interactive Football Manager 2021 folder on the computer. So I'll show you how you can access this. You may have it already. If you've already installed like your player faces, your logo packs, for example, you may already have this folder in place. If not, I'll show you how to make it. The first thing you have to do is you have to go to your document and go to the Sports Interactive folder. So I go to Document, I'll go to Sports Interactive, which I'm now on here, going to Football Manager 2021, and then what you need is a graphics folder 
on here. I currently don't have one, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a fresh one for us to use. I'll just right click inside the folder, click on new, click on folder, and you just need to name this graphics really simply. So if I type in graphics onto here, we now have that folder in place. If I open it up, of course, it's empty. We've just made it completely fresh. If you've already got one, you can skip this step. Now that we have the folder in place, so we just need to go back to our downloads where we have our downloaded kits folder. If I then right click the folder and click the extract files, it will give me an option to then actually extract them to a place of our choosing. So what we wanna do is we want to go and browse to that new graphics folder we've created, or of course you're already created one if you've already got it made. So I'm just gonna go to documents, I'm gonna scroll down to sports interactive, and I'm gonna go into football manager 2021, and I'm gonna highlight the graphics folder. You don't wanna go into it, you just wanna highlight the graphics folder. So just make sure it's highlighted in blue, and then click on OK. It will extract the folder. It's really quick because, of course, it's a very small folder. If we now go back to our Football Manager 2021 documents folder, so I'll go back all the way into it, go into our graphics folder, there is now information in here for the England Levels 1 to 6 short sleeve kits. So now that we have the files in our graphics folder, the next step is going to Football Manager itself and change a few settings. So I've got Football Manager already open, so I'll just scroll down to the bottom here and open it up. I'm here on my Manchester United Taming the Devil save, which there will be a link to the playlist up above if you want to take a look at that series. We are approaching the Champions League semi-final at the moment, so if you are interested, there is a link above me for you to have a watch of those episodes. But at the moment, if I click, say, onto Manchester United, and we look at them, you can see they've got very basic kits. They haven't got the proper official kits. And if we flick through them on here, if we go through, you've got Newcastle, you can see none of these are the proper kits. So if we go back to Man U on here, and then what you have to do is you have to go into the preferences in game and change a few settings. So if I click on the FM button up here in the top right, and then click on the preferences button. What you will then find is it will bring you on to this page. Mine automatically goes into the interface page, but if yours doesn't, it may start on the all page, for example. If it is, then just click on the drop down menu up here, select the interface one, and it will bring you onto this page. This is the one that you need to be on. So you just scroll down to where it says the skin option, it's about halfway down the page. And by default, there'll be two options that you need to change. The first one is you have to untick the use caching to decrease page loading time. So I'll unselect that there. And then you need to make sure you then click the reload skin when confirming changes in preferences button. If you tick that and then click on the confirm button, it will start changing the skin around and so on. And what should happen is the kits over here on the page should change to being the official kits that we've downloaded. Of course, they may look slightly different to the ones you download if you download a different set of kits. It can take a little bit of time while it does this process, but once it has finished this process, we should have our kits all ready to go. It may flick around as it's done there, but now it has finished the process. You can see on the screen, we have our kits here in for Manchester United. For example, if I then scroll through a few more, we've got Newcastle's kits, Sheffield United's kits, Southampton, etc. So you can see it's got all those kits now into the game. That though guys just about wraps up this tutorial here with Football Manager 2021 and with getting the official kits into the game. Of course this only highlights the Premier League and, and the various English leagues as well included in that pack. There are various other leagues that you can download and of course you can just go on like to sort it out SI or other websites to download and just repeat the steps that we've done in this episode here and you should be able to get those other leagues kits working in your game. Now hopefully you would have found this to have been helpful. If you did then please do chuck a like on the episode. As I mentioned earlier on guys, it massively does help the channel out. And of course if you're looking forward to seeing any more of my FM21 content, such as my Tame the Devil series with Man News I highlighted on the screen, or any of my FM21 experiments like my 100 years into the future video, then do make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to be notified when any of my content here on YouTube goes live. But guys, that just about wraps us up today. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you again next time.